Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between cross and draw filing. So file is a tool we use to remove material from a piece of plastic or metals. Uh, some files can be used with wood but metals and plastic will be the most common. So we have files that come in all different shapes and sizes but the files we're going to be working with today are just some simple uh, rectangular files. Now we have two types of files. We've got a rough file which I have here and a smooth file which I have uh, here also. So I will show you a close-up of what they look like and if you look at them up close um, you can actually see uh, the difference in them very easily. Um, now if we look at the file in general we've got a handle here. Uh, this part that slots into the handle is called a tang and that's compression fit into the handle so it's forced in. Files have one safe edge, so that's a smooth edge and that's where if you're filing into a 90 degree angle corner you place your safe edge into the corner. So the first technique I'm going to talk to you about today is cross filing. Cross filing is a technique used to remove quite a large amount of material. Work holding and cross filing is very important. If you remember from the last video, we do not like to place our workpiece up high in the vise like this. The reason being, and I'll show you now in a second, is the noise and the risk of cracking. So if we look here, that's quite loud. And if you imagine 24 students in a classroom doing that, um, it is not nice. So we place it down as low as we can in the vise, just right down to the line where your waist is. And when we're filing, I'm left-handed, so my left hand is going to be on the handle, and my right hand is placed on the top of the file. I have a boxer stance, and I approach uh, the workpiece like this, and my file moves back and forth across the piece. Now this filing technique needs to be done when you're standing up. The reason being is the hand that's placed at the top of the file is almost more important than the hand that's placed at the handle of the file. If you apply pressure with your hand at the top of the file, material gets removed a lot quicker than if, say, you were just sitting here like this and rubbing the file across. You need to apply downward pressure with your boxer stance and you move the file across the piece, hence the name cross filing. Now we need to make sure that we keep or file level with the workpiece at all times. What I sometimes see is I see people rocking back and forth. And what happens then is you just end up getting a curved edge, which is not desirable. So cross filing leaves quite a rough finish. It's not very nice. I'll show a close up on the screen here beside it of what it looks like. So what we need to do is we need to use another technique called draw filing. Draw filing is commonly used with a smooth file and this is more of a finishing technique or to remove maybe small amounts of your waste. So we grip the file differently. I like to grip it closer um, in from the handle and this time instead of cross filing like this you're draw filing it across the piece. Now this is a much more delicate process and you move back and forth across the piece. Once again we have our boxer stance and we keep it nice and level. So once again I'll just put up a, a close up on the screen of how uh, draw filing turns out and what you can also do with this is you can wrap a piece of emery paper around it wet the emery paper and you're going to get a lovely finish on your piece okay thank you see you in the next video